Miranda, you want to talk uh, about other things? Oh yeah, so maybe throw up a, or you have a presentation or uh, 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 a yeah. you want to just be your type in there? Or, or you need to plug in if you No, no, it's okay. okay. Uh, so just put something that is uh HPA night. HHPA? B the one side is H H let me So um okay. So I'm I am from Buenos Aires, I'm I'm journalist, I'm being uh, journalist and I am I'm, I'm working as a well, it's not exactly a work, but it's a night fellowship for the National Center for Journalists. So I'm doing innovation in Latin America and I'm gonna spend a week here uh, working with different people in media people with the night lab and other guys. Um, uh, I I just wanted to show a couple of things that we are doing in in Buenos Aires. I think that I have like seven to ten minutes to to showcase a few things. Uh, so the first is, is the same instance. This is a Hackdash that we built to track ideas in hackathons, in Hackbase. And now we're using that in all over Latin America. And, and it's starting to be used in in the US, in Nepal, in uh, Finland. It's, it's more related with uh, when you start something like this and you want to show what people are doing with their ideas, how do we collect all this information? And we put that in a in the same instance, in the same headdash, and and you uh, quickly, uh, and you, uh, you can quickly see who is the people related with the with the, the project here, and and what's the status of the project. Uh, so we are doing this uh, in, 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 we have around 1,000 registered users. <coughs> we started this last year in a big conference that we organized in Buenos Aires. And now it's been implemented with a lot of people. We have around 500 projects and uh, a lot of interns. So it's free open and you can use it to have your own. So the line there, you go to hangdash.org and you just put the instance and you can start using it. Uh, that came from a need that we had in Buenos Aires, um, which is what happened when you finish the hack day and you go back to your regular work and, and you were working together with someone and you lost the connection. You lost the, who, who was the guy who was doing this thing that was fantastic that I, I cannot remember. So we, we, we built that, we throw the idea through Twitter, we have a developer who started doing that. And then we improve that, and, and we <coughs> hopefully will have like a big platform to track ideas and to search what people is doing in different countries, uh, which is something that usually happens. That a lot of people are doing the same thing. Uh, um, and well, the developer of this is is a guy whose name is Dan Saxman, and I started the idea. So I'm using this to, to explain because. We, we started this uh, as a need, and it became also uh, something that is usually developed in the hackathons. So it's in the meta hackathon. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I just, I, I want to showcase, I had a video, but I don't, I don't want to pass a video. I will send you the link later. We organized a big conference in Buenos Aires that's called the Media Party. Media Parties, we, we reached this year around 1,000 members within three days. Very productive event for three days. We put people, <coughs> developers, journalists, and people from Open Data to understand what's the work of, of data journalism. Um, I will showcase three or four things, and then if you want to ask me more questions, I'm happy. The, maybe the, the, the biggest here is Annalisa May, which is a it's, it's weird to showcase without your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. sorry. Um, So yeah, I'm not sure. It's, uh, I will keep an for later. But basically, it's a, it's a tool that we've been doing 
try to understand human rights trials, uh, documents from trials uh, from different cities in Argentina related with the dictatorship government. And now that's becoming a tool for, for Spanish speaking mostly. So you can upload document. It's a kind of document cloud, but it's more focused on the relationship between the facts and the entities in the documents. Try to understand what's going on. Uh, so this is uh, Cargografías. It's a uh, it's a tool to track the story of the, the, the people in the power, to try to, to see where they're coming from, where they have been in the past, and where they're going. We started this, I mean, the team started the, in, a, in a half day about the tree, and now it's becoming a big, a big project that went to, to public, uh, to, to massive uh, media outlets. Uh, the other thing that I want to, to showcase we, we work a lot with with cartographies, with uh, sorry, with cartograms. That's the relationship in Argentina for electoral population. So you see Argentina in the way of, of the population. Mm -hmm. It's a very useful person that you know a lot of about this. Do you? I've seen ones like this for like the United States. Yeah. By popula like yeah. warping the states based on population or something yeah. else like that. Yeah. So. So we, we built the creepy map. Uh, <laughs> the creepy map is, I, let me see if it, uh, it's working right now. I'm not sure if that's working, because Google usually shoot down <coughs> the API. I don't know. So we, we found the, OK, stop. So we, we found. Yeah, uh, okay, we have. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. I will show you the picture. Um, we found, you know, the trend net cameras. Have you heard about trend net cameras? So there's a camera down here. So if if the, if the brand is trend net, it, it has a bug, so you can't see what's going on in the camera, even if you don't know. <laughs> Nothing more than the IP. So uh, there is a search for devices. Like you search Google, you can search devices. So if you say <coughs> these specific devices, it will give you a list of IPs worldwide. And if you know the path to get the access to the camera, you can see what's going on. We did it. I mean, the IP's location is not the specific. Well, done, so sometimes it's not an accurate and exact place, but it, it gives you the neighborhood at least. Um, so we, we built that. I, 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 I'm a journalist. I did a, 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 an article about this, and nothing really happened. <laughs> but then we, <laughs> uh, but then we, we, we find a way, a way to do. Let me see. If we have. Okay, this is the, this is the not interactive version. Um, so what we do is very 30 minutes work of geocoding IPs, okay, and click in each button, red button there, and see what's going on. It's through my show, real time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were, yeah, it was kind of people looking for naked people, and <laughs> thing, but, but the concept is. We are overconnected. That's too much, and and this is a good way to show that the amount of information that we are driven to internet is, is incredibly big. Uh, we got in the beginning of the year in, in a week when we show. I think that a couple of the Verge or his model published this, and we got 400,000 visits in a, in a couple of days. And then Google shut it down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But there are other options to make. Did they shut it down for content reasons or traffic reasons? For, for, no, 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 for, uh, for illegal. We were illegal. Uh, I mean, yeah, we were violating the privacy of the people. Right. Not, not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, I will show you just one more thing. And, um, and then, so this is also another thing that. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not reactive. That's uh, sorry. Um, hold 
uh, we have a we have a year of of, of the same government in Argentina, uh, ten years of the same government in Argentina, and there is a team who worked very hard in understanding the election process. So if you see the blue people there, it, it's all the the same the same party in the government. Okay, so this is votation for the Congress. Um, and if you if you click here, you will see the movements of, of the votations in the, in the period of. Oh. Which one of these is a different vote? Sorry. Which one of these is a vote on a different like resolution or ordinance? Yeah, each one is a kind of nominate. The, uh, right. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of work on data there yeah. behind that. Really, really hard because the way that the data was released is, is not very friendly. <laughs> um, but it also gives you the idea of, of the of the commitment of the people in the, the bluest people in the garden. So we will all vote together. It, it could be great to see how it works for for US. Um, so those are some of the things that, that we are uh, building in in Buenos Aires. And the last thing is uh, I want to show you and invite you. It's uh, is the media party. We, we, we host a big conference in, in Buenos Aires for three days. We, we do keynotes, workshops, hackathon. Uh, it's a very productive event. We reached 1,000 members this year. Um, we are very happy to, to be here and to share what we've learned in the process of <coughs> engaging uh, media in, in the process of the openness of the government. So for us, it's very important to have media uh, involved in the, in the process, to have the traction that the media have. And to, to, to literate, to, to, to train the media in how to deal with data. And we've done this in, in the last year, doing training, boot camps, and other kind of things in Latin America. Um, I, I can send you the link of the video if you want to see. So thank you very much. Awesome. For thank you. Time. Yeah. Woo. Woo. That's uh, the first thing you showed, the, the sort of collaboration tool. Um, so I will, I, will, I will do something, which is. <coughs> you you get in here. Yeah. So you you log in for a hackathon. Uh -huh. You access through your whatever. Yeah. And once you do that, you are the owner of the instance. So the one that create the instance has the power to release or sorry to delete or create things. Oh, okay. But anyone can upload ideas. Okay, so if I made one for the Open Web Hack Day, is that something yes. people in this room would be interested in using as a sort of a collaboration tool? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll do that. Right. <laughs> awesome. So um, you can you can yeah, put your, your GitHub thing on the current website. Uh, oh right. Well, that's sort of more of like a display of what's going on. <laughs> but it could be. I think that what that's trying to that was sort of trying to get at some of this stuff. Um, but I think that. Still missing the sort of collaboration aspect, right? Of like, oh, this project needs help, right? And yeah. this, you know, this, yeah, this is some idea for a project. So yeah. I think that this is exactly the kind of tool that I think uh, we can make use of uh, this group. So that's awesome. Yeah, but uh, basically, if, if you are uh, logged here, you will see a button of join cool. or a follow, and you can just jump there. Awesome. Cool. Well, I'll take you. I'll I'll set that up and I'll share the link with everybody uh, when I do. But uh, awesome. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Great. Uh, any 